Hello everyone, welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching Cloud IoT and Machine Learning on Nano RP2040 Connect. So guys, you have explored the power of Nano 2040 Connect, right? So we have seen a lot of examples using accessing the inbuilt sensors and also we did some exercise on the machine learning activities by tapping the microphone and you know, the jogging exercise, walking exercise using the built-in examples. <clears throat> so since you are able to access the IMU and the microphone data and all those stuffs, you know, the, all those are based on C++ programming, C++ coding. You saw the sample codes and I also showed you how to modify some of the codes. From this lesson onwards, let's let's move on to MicroPython using CircuitPython firmware. So we will do some Python programming all right so using using uh, you know certain firmware which i'm going to show you how to download and how to install into the board itself so that's the lesson all about pay a lot of attention guys and uh, watch very closely so let me just open up the browser give me a second I hope you guys can see my browser. So you need to go to this link circuitpython.org forward slash board forward slash Arduino underscore nano underscore RP 2040 connect. Once you go to this particular section, you can also search, you can go to circuitpython.org and you know, you can search for, uh, for RP 2040. It'll take you to this particular page. So I will, you can, you can probably make a note of this particular page, the URL link, go here and you can see the latest version of CircuitPython. CircuitPython is nothing but it's a MicroPython firmware, right? Which is used uh, to, uh, which is used to basically write your Python code and load it into RP2040 connect. That's the way it works. Just give me a second guys. So you can download, click here, download.uf2 now. If you click download, it's going to open a separate window like this and you can save it on the desktop. This is the entire file. It's a kind of, you know, uh, it's a firmware. It's basically a firmware, circuit Python firmware, which is mentioned as Adafruit dash circuit Python dash Arduino underscore nano RP 2040. So you can save it on your desktop and then, uh, you know, once you save it, I'll just cancel it uh, right now because I had already uh, saved this and then we need to go to the desktop, right? So this is your file. Once you save this firmware on the desktop from the circuit, what you need to do, you got to double click your boot cell button i'm going to show you right now hold on a second okay i hope you can see my nano board so here this particular button it's called the boot cell button you need to double click very quick we need you need to just double click not single click double click and it's going to open up a window which works like your usb uh, you know uh, your usb drive or something like that it'll create a separate drive on your windows machine so you have to quickly double click. I am going to do that right now. There you go. As soon as you double click, it opens up this kind of window on your desktop, right? So what you need to do, you got to minimize this little bit, push it towards the right. Okay. And then drag this file, drag this firmware into this folder, this section. So I'm going to show it to you how. You can just drag it and as soon as you leave it here, it gets saved into your Nano 2040 Connect board and this window will vanish. It's copying, it's copying, it's copying, it's going to vanish now. There you go. Can you see? The window is vanished now. So now you are ready to write Python code. You are absolutely ready to write any kind of Python code and uh, we can do ton loads of exercise. Now your board is absolutely ready with the firmware which has been updated into the board. 
and now this board is going to take the python command however we will need to install different kind of ides we cannot we can also write the python code using arduino ide but it gets little trickier which i am going to show you in a later series but for now we will install a different kind of ide which i am going to walk you through guys step by step in the next lesson for now make sure that you upload the firmware the way i showed you first you need to download from circuitpython.org site with the link which i shared with you right now i will leave it below this video as well download the firmware put it on your desktop and then connect your arduino board and then double click the boot cell button it will open up a separate window like your usb drive and then drag that particular firmware into the board into that particular section which opens up right as soon as you it gets saved the window will vanish and you cannot see the blink led at all so that means your board is absolutely ready to take the next command based on python i will see you soon in the next lesson goodbye